All proceeds go to the troops. Fine. 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 There are reasons for this doctrine, Miss Schmidt. Yes, Your Honor, bad ones. These kids fight our wars. It's an undue burden to compensate them when they're victims of medical malpractice. The soldier in question lost his life because of an avoidable, negligent hospital screw-up that It's not just the money. Subjecting the military hospitals to discovery... Oh, come on. May I finish? You didn't let me finish. Your Honor, this goes beyond bad faith. We send these kids to war. They come back in need of medical care. Our doctors commit malpractice, and we tell them, whoops, you can't sue because of a, a doctrine that selectively singles out and punishes soldiers? I thought he was a speechmaker. No, today you got me. At least let me call a witness or two. My client lost his only brother. If he can't have his day in court, at least give him an hour. All right. I'll allow you to call witnesses as to the legality of the doctrine. Your Honor, if she doesn't like the law, her recourse is the legislature, not a judge. Well, thank you, Mr. Mathis. I know what my role is. Two o'clock. Are you currently serving in the military, sir? No, I'm a retired captain for the U.S. Army. I served until last year. And what were your primary responsibilities? For the last nine years, I was mainly in recruiting, getting young men to enlist. Did you retire on good terms? Not so much. Could you tell us why? Well, it was suggested I retire after I was a little too outspoken on what I perceived as a backdoor draft. Um, when you say backdoor draft... I mean, we target the poor. No one likes to say it publicly, but that's what we do. And you target low-income youth because... They needed the money. Most kids don't want to go off and fight wars if they can avoid it. So we hone in on the kids without options. The poor? The poor. We set up our recruitment stations in the poor neighborhood malls and in the poor high school. I'm sorry. Can you at least tell me the connection to this case? It goes to fairness, Mr. Mathis. We go after the lowest economic demographic in our society to fight our wars. These kids are risking their lives out of financial duress. They have I'm sorry, Ms. Schmidt. This is an entirely different issue. This witness is disallowed. Your Honor, I would like you to understand the context no, of this. No, we're going to stay on issue. Now, if you've got a witness who can talk about this case or the doctrine itself, well, I'll listen. Otherwise, this witness is disallowed. Now, who else do you have? Yes, I would like to hear from the doctor who treated my client's brother. The defense stipulated that he committed an avoidable error rising to the level of malpractice. I'd like to hear from him all the same, since... There's no point in hearing from the doctor, unless you're trying to manipulate me with either horror or emotion, neither of which informs us of the legitimacy or the lawfulness of the Ferris Doctrine. Your Honor, certainly you're allowed to be horrified by the facts in this case. The doctor is disallowed. In order to fully appreciate this doctrine and its capricious application, your honor needs to hear testimony. Oh, wait a minute. You've you wasted enough of my time already. I'd like to hear summations from counsel in this court tomorrow at 10 a.m., and then I'll rule. In the meantime, I'd like to see counsel in my chambers. I have been informed that counsel has been wagering on this case. Is that true? <sighs> that is absolutely false. Mr. Shaw, what about you? Me? I've been informed that you and Denny Crane have a side bet for $50,000. Is that true? Well, Alan. Proceeds go to the troops. I never bet on baseball, and I bet we'd win here, so it's not as if I'm throwing anything. But a senior partner in your firm.